أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد سيدنا ولي الحمد مدد يا رسول الله مدد أسعد على أصحابه مدد يا رسول الله مدد يستر وأنا شاء الله فاز أسعد شاء محمد على حق المدد طريقات مع الصحباء وهو خير في الجميع الله عز وجل بزم طاقاتمزه يترميزهم سلر تكلفة مزه Allah Almighty did not offer us to do things which we cannot carry. Allah Almighty offers us to do things which we are capable to do and which we are able to carry. And the things you do are the things Allah Almighty made you able to do and there are things which you do which may be acceptable and there may be things you do which are not acceptable. And you will be held accountable according to your actions but you will not be held accountable for those things which you do not put into action. You will not be held accountable for your thoughts. Shaitan through his whisperings may bring many things to your mind. But if you do not put them into action, they are null and void and do not have any validity and you will not be held accountable for them. And also, when you see a dream, and when it's a bad dream, if you, to- if you don't ten- tell anyone about this dream, that dream will not have an impact, and you will not be held accountable for it. Therefore, there is no need to be afraid of bad dreams. Again, those things which you will be held accountable for and those things which you will be punished for are things you put into action, either through your hands or places where you go with your feet. Whatever you do effectively are the things for which you will be held accountable. But those things which are inside of you, your thoughts, unless you, and, and as long as you don't put those things into action, as long as you don't put into action what is inside you, as long as you don't put into action your thoughts, they are not things you will be held accountable for. So you should not worry. And you should not bury your, uh, you should not burden yourself with useless things. Again, when it comes to dreams, it's the same. Don't, if you see a bad dream, especially, don't tell anyone about it. And we should be very careful about our dreams and we should not tell people about our dreams and when we tell tell people tell somebody about our dreams we should make sure that those people are capable of interpreting them in a good nice way because a dream will materialize in the way it was interpreted Look at Sayyidina Yusuf, even though they 
made made up lies about the dream as it was interpreted it it came to materialize even though it was based on lies onun için buna da dikkat etmek lazım insanlar e, rüyada her gece kötü şeyler görme anlatma and therefore one should be careful about telling people about one's dreams especially when those are bad dreams don't tell anyone about them onu anlatmadıktan sonra hiçbir hüküm yok because if you don't tell anyone about your dreams they will not have an impact on you çünkü rüyalar çeşit çeşittir there are many various kinds of dreams eee tabir eden insan varsa tabir eden yoksa and of course there may be people who may interpret your dreams in a good way sen kendine kalsın hiç başına iş açma but if you don't know anyone just the safest way would be just keep your dreams for yourself and don't get into trouble by telling people about your dreams allah muhafaza etsin may allah almighty protect us And may Allah Almighty create the means for us for goodness to occur. Allah şükür Rabbimiz yüklemez ya la ikellifu Allah nefsen de. And we are thankful to Allah Almighty that he does not burden us with things which we cannot carry. Yani kimseye takat olmayan nükleyen diyor Allah Azze ve Celle. Allah Almighty says I have not and I will not burden you with something which you are not capable of doing and I will not burden you with something which you cannot tolerate or which you cannot carry. Allah şükürler olsun. Thanks and praise to Allah Almighty. Şeylerden dolayı yoksa her düşündüğümüze şey olsaydı ceza yapsaydık zaten işimiz kötü and we are thankful to Allah almighty that we are not held accountable for our thoughts we already have a bad situation based on the things we do and our wrongdoings and things would have been so much worse if we would even have been held accountable for what we think but thanks to Allah almighty we are not held accountable for our thoughts hiç uh, kurtulamaz and even if we would have been held and be punished for our thoughts then there would have been no rescue Allah Allah şükürler olsun. Therefore we are thankful to Allah Almighty. Rahimdir, Rahmandır o kendisi. And he is the most forgiving, the most merciful one. Ve min Allah tevfik el Fatiha.